I'm Olivia Penalva and you're watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thank you so much to Romeo and iHeartRadio for having me. I'm super excited and my latest single is called Exes. We're going to answer some questions. So Hank from Hayward is asking, if you had a chance to be on a reality TV show, would you actually do it? And the answer to that is no. I feel like a lot of reality TV shows, you just, they dive so deep into your personal life and I'm not really willing to share on that level. And as much as I love watching these shows, I just don't think I could do it. It seems like a lot. So props to anyone who does and people who love it and have fun, but it's not for me. Next question. Brooke from Decatur. Is that how you say it? I'm so sorry if I butcher any of these. What is the hardest thing about being in the music industry? Um, and I feel like this kind of goes with the last question a little bit. I feel like kind of giving up some of your privacy is really hard. And although you get to choose how much you want to share with people, you just, you know, you share little glimpses of your lives and then I feel like people kind of make their own idea about who they think you are and what they think you stand for and believe in and all this stuff. And it's just really hard, I think, to put yourself out there completely like that. It's scary. That's, I think, the best answer I can give for that question. I, this industry is a lot of work, but it's also so much fun. I feel like there's so many different things that factor into it. So there's not necessarily one answer. But right now, I would say the thing I am think finding the hardest is knowing what to share and what not to share. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> Lauren from Minneapolis wants to know, do you know how to cook? If so, what is your favorite meal to cook? Yes, I do know how to cook. I've loved cooking since I was little. I used to do it with my grandma all the time. And my favorite thing right now to cook is coconut rice with stir fry. I feel like I make that most often. And my boyfriend Mike loves it. So like that's our go-to. But I love cooking anything. So maybe one day we'll have a cooking with Olivia. <laughs> Jessica wants to know, what do you like to do in your free time? This may sound really lazy, but I just really love to sit and watch movies with my family and just relax because I feel like I can be a little high stress sometimes. And so when I'm not working, even though work is really fun, I love to just do nothing um, and listen to podcasts as well while I drive. I think that's like my, my top two favorite things to do. Basically anything that relaxes me. Hannah from Albany wants to know, what is your favorite thing about yourself? I was reading this question last night, to be honest, and trying to think of what my favorite thing about myself is. And I asked my boyfriend and he said that it probably, for him, would be how often I make myself laugh and in the least conceited way possible. I say things sometimes so weird and so random that I just like find myself laughing at my own jokes even if they're not funny. So I feel like the fact that maybe I'm my best like own company, does that make sense? I love my own company. There you go. Caitlin from Red Deer, she's a Canadian, um, wants to know my favorite Canadian candy. I do love chocolate, so it's definitely going to be something chocolate, and I think it would be Smarties, because Smarties in Canada are different than Smarties in the U.S. Smarties in the U.S., we call them rockets here, or maybe there's another term for them, but there's like they're like that tube of a little chalky candy, and I don't like those. Smarties are like chocolate, and chocolate's always amazing, so Smarties. And Alicia from Peru wants to know what do your fans mean to you and the answer to that is everything I feel like you can't really do what I do without having such amazing supporters and it's so crazy to me to have someone that I've never met before supporting me and not just for my music but for me personally and be able to like connect with all these people online it's so amazing so it honestly means the world and it's really intimidating sometimes you know to put music out there um, because it's a part of you and you don't know if people are gonna love it or not and so when you have people who you've never met before supporting you it's the most amazing feeling so I'm very lucky and I'm very grateful next question mm -mm -mm -mm. Jada from Shelby wants to know what is one message you want fans to take from exes the most important thing I don't want people to take from exes is that you should go steal your best friend's boyfriend because although the song is about that and it's cheeky and it sounds like, you know, it's fun to go steal your boyfriend or your best friend's boyfriend, 
I really don't recommend doing that. Don't think it's a good idea. But um, for me, like the main point of this song is to kind of just showcase that anybody can make mistakes and you do things on impulse sometimes without listening to your head even if you know it's the wrong thing to do and people do end up getting hurt and I feel like it's just a really real thing that people go through so that's what I want people to take from this song is that people do make mistakes and although I would not recommend going and stealing your friend's boyfriend it is a reality that happens sometimes when your feelings are stronger than logic so I don't know if there was something from that whole message that you could take and put into your own life but I don't want you stealing people's boyfriends even though I sing about it. What's the best advice another artist has given you? There, I've gotten some great advice over the years. One of them is that this whole industry is a marathon and not a sprint and you just have to put in the work and the belief in yourself and you can get anywhere if you want to. And I feel like that's really true. It's a lot of hard work and, and realizing that there's no rush to it it's gonna work out when it works out and you just got to believe in yourself and work hard enough but the other piece of advice that I'm constantly given by one specific friend of mine is that pressure is a privilege and I just loved hearing that because it's it's true not a lot of people get to experience you know what I'm doing and what other artists are doing and actors and all that kind of stuff and as much pressure as it can be sometimes and it's not always fun it's a privilege to be able to be in that position so i really liked that advice thank you to my friend troy for sharing that with me thanks again for watching my most requested live ask anything chat thank you to romeo and iHeartRadio. this was so much fun and i really appreciate it and don't forget my new track is called x's